an often repeated narrative that we hear from the proponents of man-made catastrophic warming is that our changing climate will lead in the future to crop loss and famine. Are statements like this from the director of Oxfam International correct? In this video, we'll look at the food facts and compare them to the speculation and predictions based on failed climate models. In previous videos, we learned that the climate models used to project this looming famine overproject warming by two and a half to three times too much. And we also saw that an increasing CO2 fertilization effect has a tremendously positive benefit to Earth's flora. Laboratory studies show that an increase of 300 parts per million will lead to a nearly 50% increase in crop growth. Predictions of crop failure and drought are based on the notion that our changing climate will lead to droughts which will negatively impact crop growth. But what we see when we look at the science, the facts, and the data, we see that droughts have actually been in long-term decline. And the earth, instead of spiraling into some vast desert, is instead greening, it's thriving, and prospering. The steady increase of agricultural productivity has been simply amazing. All the while, temperatures are rising and CO2 is increasing. The many benefits of carbon dioxide don't stop with CO2 fertilization. Some of those are listed here. But CO2 fertilization and these benefits are backstop and turbocharged by rising temperatures, which mean that we have lengthening growing seasons. Killing frosts stop earlier in the spring and arrive later in the fall. Multiple plantings can be made and more crops can be grown. Some critics of my view of a prospering earth say that the increase in crop growth is at least partly attributable to increases in acreage planted. Not according to the USDA, Looking at this, over the last 90 years, we've been fairly flat in terms of acreage planted. All the while, the grain harvested per acre has steadily increased. Contrary to what the director of Oxfam International might say, perhaps the best solution for famine is a continuing rise in temperature and increasing CO2.